Okay, we're looking at homework problem number 13 from page 41 of our Phillips Exeter Math 2 problem set. Um, this one says the diagonals of a square have length 10. How long are the sides of the square? This is an interesting problem in that there are a ton of different ways you can do it. So let's, let's start with one way. So we have a square. And what we know about squares is all of these sides are equal and all the angles are 90 degrees. So we want to find the side length, we'll call it S, given the diagonals of 10. So one way that we could do this one is since we know that both sides of the square here are S, um, we can use Pythagorean Theorem, and we can do S squared plus S squared equals 10 squared. That would be 2S squared equals 100. Divide both sides by 2. So we get S squared equals 50. We can square root both sides now, and we get S equals root 50, which is approximately 7.1. This is a pretty straightforward question here. Now we could do the same thing, um, another way we could think about it is if we draw, I'll draw another square here. This is not as good, but it says the diagonals of a square have length 10. So we could draw a square with both diagonals, both have length 10. One thing we do know is that since this is a, a square is also a rhombus, that means that this angle in the middle is a 90 degree angle. And since they're both have length 10, that means each one of these diagonals has to bisect each other because of the parallelogram idea. And they're equal. So now we could do the same idea, um, but use this triangle inside and do 5 squared plus 5 squared equals S squared. So we could do another Pythagorean theorem there. 5 squared plus 5 squared equals S squared. When we work that out, we still get S squared equals 50. Again, another way we could look at it is if I go back to my original square here, I see this triangle, and I know that this triangle it makes is a 45, 45, 90 because it bisects these angles. And if we remember our shortcut, I'll draw a little one in here, with a 45, 45, 90 right triangle, or an isosceles right triangle, which this is, if this is S, this would be S square root 2. Now since we're given this side, the hypotenuse, the long side, and trying to go to the short side, we actually would divide by root Two. So we also do 10 divided by square root 2, which is approximately 7.1. Same idea. Three different ways, same problem.